Well, Sharla, the inspiration and the impact Ruth Bader Ginsburg had could be seen in the hundreds, maybe even the thousands of people who came out to the Supreme Court building earlier today and continue to be out here at this hour. You can see all the flowers many people brought. Many others brought signs, some brought candles, others posted messages about the drive Ginsburg provided to them to enter their careers. I'm the first lawyer in my family, but I always sort of came up with this understanding that the law could be a force for change. As the president and CEO of the National Women's Law Center, Fatima Gosgrave says she and many other women owe a lot to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She has always been one of my personal heroes and inspired me. Graves has spent her career fighting for women's rights in the courtroom. The death of the Supreme Court Justice led to her heading to social media, where she tweeted this personal message on Saturday saying Ginsburg pushed her to becoming a women's rights lawyer. To see Justice Ginsburg and the way in which she crafted the outlines for what it means to be equal in this country, that is the lawyering work that I knew I wanted to do. A group of us actually got together and, and met down at the courts today so that we could uh, be there. Other women attorneys like Sadina Montani headed to the Supreme Court building on Saturday to honor Ginsburg. Now the president of the Women's Bar Association of DC, Montani said Ginsburg received multiple awards from the group over the years, but her real impact came from the stories of her career. For so many of us, um, seeing her persistence and seeing her grit is just has been a real inspiration. An icon of the Supreme Court now gone, but leaving behind a legacy seen by the women who followed her path. And she's just beloved by by us, by women lawyers, I think, uh, across the country, and it's a terrible, terrible loss. Of American democracy on the shoulders of now, Charlotte, I want to give you another live look outside the Supreme Court building right now. You can see some speeches happening. This is part of this event that's been going on for the last few hours. It's Saturday night, a little bit past 11, and you can see just how big this crowd is. You know, at some points it was hundreds of people, maybe even close to a thousand that were out here. You can see all these flowers uh, that are on the ground and the candles, as I said, the signs that people brought, the uh, inspiration that people had to come out here to pay tribute to honor Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, we expect to see that throughout the weekend as we go into Sunday, as many people remain, uh, you know, moved and heartbroken really over the death of the Supreme Court Justice. Live outside the Supreme Court building, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.